Discouraging news out of the Labor Department today. New unemployment claims rising 8,000 last week, bringing total jobless claims last month to a seasonally adjusted 480,000. This is Senate Democrats are unveiling a new job creation proposal today. Richard Sakharides is a former special assistant and senior advisor to President Bill Clinton. Scott Stanzel is a former deputy press secretary under President George W. Bush. Bush and both are with us now. Uh, Richard, what about it? Uh, the Democrats have some proposals uh, that they want to trot out to try to, you know, rein in this unemployment situation, but the news, the, the numbers just out today aren't doing them any favors, are they? Well, they aren't doing any, any favors, and the numbers need to get good and need to get better uh, quickly, hopefully. But I think these proposals that you're going to see today will be helpful. I mean, extending unemployment benefits, uh, tax credits for small business, I think that's the way to go. I mean, I think the best thing, you know, Scott Brown has given us the new Barack Obama and the new leadership, new excitement in the Democratic Party. I think these proposals are the way to go. Your former boss, Bill Clinton, sort of moved to the center after uh, his first go around with midterm elections. We're not that far into Barack Obama's term, but is that what you see happening here? Well, I think that they've gotten the message. I think the first year was a little bit of a bust, and I think you'll see a new focus on jobs and the economy, helping small business, and, you know, it's what the country needs right now, so I think it's smart. Scott Stanza, what about some of these ideas, some of them, the tax credits for small business hiring, that kind of thing? It sounds, sounds a little bit, you know, like some Republican-themed ideas. Uh, Republicans going to welcome these proposals? Well, I think, John, that these proposals tend to, I think they're fashioned more as political stimulus than actual economic stimulus. So as Scott Brown, uh, as Richard mentioned, who's being sworn in today, I think a lot of Democrats are wanting to make sure that they don't uh, get cochlead and have upset victories across the country. And I think these proposals, um, while they may be good and may be welcomed by some, uh, aren't going to really make a difference. We've had uh, 2.7 million jobs lost this year at a time when government uh, has added $1.6 trillion to the debt. So you might have a marginal difference with some of these proposals, but the idea that Democrats have finally found religion on tax relief is a bit preposterous because, you know, when you talk about small businesses and the job creators uh, of our economy, Democrats want to let the Bush tax relief expire. That's something that, uh, in terms of certainty and job creation, uh, they could come out and say, we were wrong. We should make those tax relief uh, permanent because a lot of small businesses file under those individual levels. Scott, I love that phrase. I love that phrase, get, get cochlead. I mean, we don't want to get cochlead. We certainly don't want to get cochlead. No, I don't, think, I don't think anybody wants that. But I think what we're going to see is this new focus, uh, and I think it's for real. And I think, as the president said, you know, we're open to, to any new ideas. I mean, this is good. we're hopefully going to have a new era where everybody's going to participate, everybody's going to have input. There's going to be an exchange of ideas, and you know, the best idea wins. There are there are three um, big ideas that are uh, being tossed around here. We talked about the tax credits for small businesses. That's a big part of this proposal that Dem Democrats are going to trot out today. But also road construction. I thought under the stimulus bill, Scott, we were going to be seeing a whole lot of road construction, shovel-ready projects, et cetera, and that would have already helped with this unemployment situation. Yeah, I mean, you look at the stimulus, $787 billion, a, a large part of that uh, was supposed to be sh those shovel-ready projects, but it's really just buried us under a blizzard of debt. And I, I see those, those payments that come from, you know, the stimulus plan as really transfer payments between politicians. Um, you know, we've seen stories about $3,000 signs to tout projects that weren't really maybe even necessary. Right. So but Scott, Scott, what, the Republicans can't be what, against everything. I mean, you can't, you can't. No. And, you and can't say not. everything. You can't, every, you can't say every idea doesn't work, and that no, and, no, and come actually, up with Richard, no new we're, ideas. We're I mean, for we, tax we're, relief, we're for responsible spending in Washington. We're for well, responsible trade. spending is not we're, a bill. You all know? right. Uh, so <laughs> we're, we're going to see oh, what the Senate be. comes it's up with. Richard Sakaridis, Scott Stanzel, thank you both. And John, as you were just talking there, we're getting some breaking news out of Southern Florida.